Hey, I'm Joe with Revzilla, and today we're taking a look at Denali Sound Bomb Horns, available at Revzilla.com. So Denali offers a wide range of products to help riders see the road ahead, also be seen and heard by other users out on the road. So what we have here are a couple different horns designed to work with motorcycles with 12 volt electrical systems. They come in between 30 and 80 bucks. And as far as fitment goes, you will see that these horns are a universal fit, but there are bike specific mounts available for the air horn. Since they are a little bit bigger, they do need a little bit more uh, robust mounting. So be sure to enter your bike into RevZilla's Bike Finder to see what options we have for your machine to mount the air horns to them. So what I wanted to do, obviously, you know, if you're a rider and you're looking to improve the horn on your motorcycle, you probably already have one on the bike, the OEM horn, whether it's maybe not loud enough or maybe it's kind of tired and not really uh, doing its job anymore. I wanted to compare what a good condition OEM horn was compared to the Denali options. So what I did was I got a decibel meter and I measured the decibels from my OEM horn, which came in around 113 decibels. While that was pretty loud, you know, definitely got our attention, it's a very high pitched sound. You know, obviously it sounds like a, a small motorcycle horn. So with a lot of these modern cars that have a lot of soundproofing, um, that sound might not penetrate those cars. What I then did was I removed the OEM horn and I put the Sound Bomb Mini horn on. So the Mini is a plug and play option. So you'll see on the back where it has a single mount, just like your OEM horn, and then two wires that go right to it. So you unplug your old horn, pop this one in there, and it's ready to go. So insulation is a breeze. What I will say is that Denali claimed that this horn was going to come in at around 113 decibels measured, but when I measured it, it was only 101. So it wasn't quite as loud as it was advertised, but it was a much deeper tone. So what that does, is it'll, it may allow that sound to penetrate those uh, very soundproof cars nowadays. But moving up from that, when we go to either the uh, Soundbomb compact air horn or the split dual tone air horn, which are technically the same horns, that's when the big difference arrives in our studio. So they claim that the air horns, either one was gonna come in around 120 decibels, but it measured at 116. So again, not quite as loud as advertised, but man, it rattled us. When we fired this thing off, everyone in the studio jumped. It's very, very loud. So, you know, when it comes to the construction of the air horns, you'll notice that obviously they do look a bit different. So what we have here is a, a little motor that's basically an air compressor and then a dual tone air horn here. So there's one tone on one side and the other tone on the other side. You see these two outlets here. So it, that's what gives it that unique kind of obviously dual tone sound. So they call this the compact because the compressor and the air horns are attached to one another. Now the split is exactly the same except that it's obviously split. So if you don't really have that much real estate left over on your motorcycle to put a big unit like this on it. Um, you could put the motor in one section of the bike, the compressor in one uh, section of the bike, and then the air horns on another, and join it by this included air line, which can be cut down appropriately. So that kind of leads me into installation. Now, obviously with the mini, installation is a piece of cake. Pop your old one out, pop this one in, you're done. Just a few minutes. Now with the air horn, comparably, this guy uses only about five amps, which is probably what your factory horn uses. The air horns use about 20 amps, which is considerably more power, so it does need a wiring harness. There are options on the site to buy it with the wiring harness included, and I do recommend that. It makes installation a lot easier. So this is the wiring harness that's included. You'll see that it has, um, you know, everything is terminated nice. There's really nice connectors on here. Basically, these two wires will hook right to your factory horn to activate the relay, and then there's a couple leads here that will just attach right to your battery. So it's really not overly complex. I spent maybe about 20, 25 minutes getting it installed on my Tiger. And most of that time was honestly just running the wires to, to the battery and to the relay and everything like that. But really not too bad of an installation, but take note that installing the air horns will take a little bit more time. But overall, my takeaway is that if your OEM horn is lacking or it needs replacement, the Mini is a great option that just offers you a little bit deeper tone, not really that much louder than a stock horn. But the two air horns that we have up here are 
incredibly loud and really knocked our socks off in the studio when we fired it off. So if you're looking to get the attention of drivers out on the road, these air horns are the way to go. But if you'd like to see what other riders have to say about them, click the info button on your desktop or mobile device. And as always, if you have any questions about these or anything else you see on our website, give our Gear Geeks a shout at 877-792-9455 or shoot an email to cs at revzilla.com. Thanks for watching our video today about the Denali Soundbomb horns. I'm Joe, and I'll see you next time.